In our back to school coverage, we are committed to answering your questions about what fall could look like. In the middle of the transition, Spokane Public Schools is welcoming a new leader. Last week, Superintendent Shelley Redinger announced that she is leaving for a new job in Richland. And this weekend, the school board named Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning Dr. Adam Swinyard as the new superintendent. I talked to school board president Jarrell Haynes about Swinyard's promotion. SPS is the second largest school district in the state, and the process of hiring superintendents typically involves a nationwide search that lasts months and also includes public comment on the candidates. But in this case, that didn't happen. I asked Haynes about that today, and here is some of what he said. We decided to look at ourselves internally, and, and we found some phenomenal people that are, that are highly skilled, that they themselves have been getting recruited by other school districts to be their superintendent, not only in state, but even at larger school districts out of state around the country. And, and so we had to take a really hard look at ourselves and, and see if we had any available people that, that we could truly believe in and that we knew could unite our, our, all of our employees, our students and our community. And, and we found that person. Yes, Was there sir. ever uh, maybe a thought of, and let's, let's name Dr. Swinier the interim superintendent, go through this whole public process, and then we'll come back to him if that's in fact the candidate we want to move forward with? Yes, sir. That, there, there definitely was a thought. That, that was the immediate thought and the natural thought for a lot of reasons. Um, and then for a lot of reasons, that wasn't the, the, the direction that we decided to go in. Um, one of the major region reasons was, was so that we could make sure we could recruit and hire and multiple other positions for the long term. We're talking about the, the district year. offered Dr. Adam Swinyard a two year contract. They expect to make it final within the week, they say. I also asked Haynes about what school is going to look like in the fall, and he said they're still trying to figure that out. But the district is getting ready, he said, to send out a survey to parents to get a better gauge on how they feel about sending their kids back to school in the fall. So keep an eye out for that.